What's going on guys? Leaving the house right now. Robert's brother apparently just went to a comic shop that's like maybe like two, three minutes from my house. So, and they had like vintage figures in there, like vintage Spider-Man figures. So I wanna go over there. I wanna check it out and uh, see what they got. They had a, he sent me a picture. I guess his brother was there just now as I'm filming this video. Um, and he has, they have the armored Spider-Man vintage figure, which is something I want on card. It looks like they had some, uh, a lot of on card vintage action figures. Um, had the day off today, uh, waiting for Seha. He had, uh, he had a little minor surgery and um, he was getting some kind of like a reaction to his incision. And so I had That's to go take him into the vet. Turn right. Can you guys hear that? All right, so I, I'll check in with you guys in a minute. So this place is located in downtown Fullerton. This is actually a place I used to come and party a few years back. A lot of restaurants, a lot of bars, uh, but this is it right here, check it out. Never knew this place even existed. Comic book hideout. That's pretty cool. Love that, love that uh, artwork on there. Mask, mask required. All right, guys, so I had to do a voiceover, at least for the first part of this video, because uh, the music was really, really loud in here, but they did sell some vintage or retro. No, no, I would say vintage is some older figures from a few years ago in the um, in the store. Some were priced decent, some were priced, I think a little bit too high, and maybe a few of them were priced like right on where they should be. Um, this place was loaded with comics. I'm talking about loaded with comics. I didn't even get a chance to really look through the comic book section, but I do plan on going back there again. But it was really awesome. I just mainly went this time just to go look at the collectibles that a lot of the action figures, which you're about to see. Uh, they look at that Deadpool figure right there, the old school Diamond Select. Uh, they had a lot of diamond figures there, a lot of uh, gallery statues and Marvel Legends. But again, the retro stuff is what I came for. $22, $18 for the Venom. That's not bad and it's on a clean card. I just entered another like room over here and they have some Godzilla shirts. Look at these. 30 Days of Night. And then they also have figures from 30 Days of Night. This is a really good movie. Actually really enjoy this movie. Don't know what they're using, these are even priced at, but cool to see. And they got some t-shirts on here too. There's like a whole horror section that they have over here. Miss Feast, oh look at this. They got the freaking Sabretooth. This is the uh, Zombie Diamond Select, which is worth Pretty sure this is worth a pretty penny. No price on it. I don't even know if I want to even ask on like what the price on that even is. Uh, they got some Mezco stuff, some Kiss dolls, Puppet Masters. They got the Frankenstein black and white there. Oh, they got some stuff up top too. Look at that. Terminator NECA 18 inch. Jeez. Some ne yeah, they got some NECA in here. Universal Monster lunch pails. Look at all this. Haunted Mansion. And it looks like it's some reaction figures, Godzilla photos. Dang, pretty cool. I don't know what section I'm in over here. Check out, oh, check out these shirts. Those are pretty cool shirts. More comics, dollar comics. Okay, so this is what I wanted to look at, the vintage stuff. Got some vintage Fantastic Fours, X-Men. This is something I grew up with. I might get that Gambit. Lizard. Holy moly, Chameleon, Armored Spider-Man. That two pack is $20. I actually think I might get that. Oh man, damn, this beast is so nice on card. The classics, this is the, obviously based off of the animated series. I really like this beast. I'm really tempted on it. As you can see, I already cleared some stuff off the top. Um, I'm debating that Chameleon's so nice and the Vulture is so cool but gotta have a limit. And they got a lot of like gallery statues like mixed in here. It's a Punisher gallery, Spider-Man mask. Dude, look at this, crazy. The tick, what the heck? All right guys, so now I'm back from Comic Book Hideout. Wanna shout out Emilio. I met you there, man. If you watch this video, it was really nice meeting you. I talked to you for about, it felt like it was two hours, but I'm pretty sure it was probably a little over an hour. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so I didn't get to film a lot because uh, 
I was, I honestly was chit chatting, which was cool. And I was talking to the, to one of the workers there. Uh, but I, I tried to record the, my best as far as the figures go. I think I'm going to go back again and re-record the comics this time. Cause it did look like they had a crazy selection of comic books, but I mainly made this, you know, found, I mainly went originally to film the toys. That's the one thing. I mean, there was toys like scattered throughout, but it, I've, this comic book has been, this store has been there for about 10 years. Never knew about it. And it's like literally down the street from where I live. So let me show you guys my haul because they had a really cool selection of vintage figures. First off, I ended up picking the armored Spider-Man. And do I have him in, in here? No, that's Hobgoblin. But now I have the um, new Marvel Legends version. Now I got the retro one in card too. Look at this. Freaking dope. Look at that artwork there. That is so awesome. Look at the, I didn't even look at the back of this. That is so cool. I need to get Green Goblin, Rhino, Scorpion, Spider-Man, and both versions of Spider-Man, the one, the parachute one, Hobgoblin, um, Smythe maybe, Kingpin, so basically all of them. Dr. Octo, I basically need all of these, but this is so awesome. This is nostalgia to its like finest here. Ended up getting the lizard. He's got that rubber, or not rubber, the plastic jacket that kind of, you know, is similar to the one that Gambit has. Look at that. Clean card, lashing tail again oh so this one has peter parker alien spider slayer vulture craven carnage and venom oh man this is so cool look at it. you got jumping jack spider-man there so we got lizard this is a really cool set so now i have a spider-man i mean it's in a two-pack but it's still cool but this is x-men spider-man looking at the artwork right this totally reminds me of a video game like the artwork for the old cartridges for super nintendo or, or game uh even game boy or even a uh, sega genesis you guys remember that from the 90s so this is a collector's edition it says nightcrawler versus spider-man who do you guys who do you think will win spider-man or nightcrawler my money's on nightcrawler uh, or no sorry spider-man he does come with the venom pin this is so nice these are so tempted to open but i'm keeping them on card um, here's X-Men. You guys know I'm trying to op or complete uh, my X-Men set. I do want the bl uh, Blackbird. I remember I could have gotten the Sentinel for like 40 bucks, and I regret passing on it at a swamp meet, but I do need the Sentinel. And then here's some more. Sp oh, man, look at that. The Hobgoblin Wing Bomber and then Smythe Battle Chair. That is awesome. So cool. So happy I got these. Uh, this one was one that I used to have a as a kid and used to play with this, this one a lot. This is the Famous Couples marbles limited to uh 24,000 pieces that's pretty high and then it does come with a really cool pin and then there's this was like i as a kid i never picked up any of the female figures because i was kind of like embarrassed as a kid to do that but when i got this two pack i think this is one of the only females that i owned was this version of rogue i don't re i never remembered her coming with the cloth top but we got gambit here so this is based off of age of apocalypse exclusive collector's pin look at the artwork this is, this is such a great set. Look at this. This is so nice. Um, but I think the find of the day is the saber tooth. I ended up asking the price on him. What? Not good. And uh, he was only $25 for the zombie saber tooth. A lot of these zombie figures are well over $100. And I really scored on this. I never got to pick up any of them. There's a sub, no, I'm sub zero. There's a uh, Spider-Man, a Hulk, and a Magneto. Not sure if there's any of anything else, but I do. I would like to have all of them. Not sure if I'm going to keep them on card or open him. But uh, that was my haul from Comic Book Hideout. Again, Amelia, it was really nice to meet you. And uh, if you guys have seen this store or been there, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are local. But that's my haul from there. Really cool spot. I'll definitely go back and re-record and show the store off a little bit better. We'll see you soon, guys. Got to pick that up. Later.